Hello everyone, this is Ashok Raj. In this video, I am going to discuss about ultrasonic rodent repellent system. Okay, so you are a uh, uh, maintenance person of any data center like uh, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, or tier 4 data center. Any data center, definitely you would have this uh, system. You would have uh, definitely you would have installed this system in your data center. So ultrasonic rodent repellent system is consists of two main things. One is transducer, another one is main console. Like uh, uh, in some cases, 12 channel ultrasonic rodent repellent system or 24 channel ultrasonic rodent repellent system or 10 channel ultrasonic rodent repellent system. Uh, in, in like that, in market, a lot of varieties are there. It means that nothing like how many transducers can able to connect within the one main console. So based on that, the, the people are uh, categorizing the, uh, the, the main console. Uh, that's it. Like in some in in some product we can able to connect only ten uh, transducer. In some uh, product we can able to connect twelve uh, uh, transducer in the one main console. In some product we, we can able to uh, connect twenty four uh, transducer in the one main console. It's all ba based on the like uh, what? It's based on the uh, 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 the type of the product you are going to choose. Okay, this is one. Second. And this transducer is what do you know? It is it is emitting the ultrasonic sound. That ultrasonic sound, uh, it, it is uh, like uh, irritating the rodent or rat in the data center uh, around the data center. So it, it will give the irritation. It, it will not kill the rodent or rat. It will give some irritation to the data center, like a loud siren. Uh, how is uh, uh, irritating us, right? So in the same way, it is irritating to the uh, rodent or rat. So, uh, if, if, if in case uh, you have in your data center you are facing more uh, rodent or rat activity, right? If you, if, you, if you install this system, it means that immediately you can't able to control uh, this one within one or two days. It will take at least two weeks. So, gradually your rodent activity uh, from the day one to gradually within the three weeks is gradually reduced and it will become to zero. Okay. So, uh, this uh, Transducer output is uh, around 80 decibel to 120 decibel. So this uh, decibel range, as a normal human, we can't able to hear this. But that the rodent or rat, for uh, rodent or rat, it will create, it, 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 it will, it will irritate this sound. Okay, it will give the uh, loud siren. Okay, and its operating frequency is nothing but 20 above 20 frequency. 20 kilohertz to and below 60 kilohertz within the, this range and it is operating like operating frequency of the uh, this product is it's between uh, 20 to 60 kilohertz it's based on the uh, product to product it will vary okay this is the one thing another one thing from uh, see for example if you have 10 or 20 main console okay so all the 10 uh, 20 main console we can able to integrate with your bms system you, 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 Definitely, if you, if you are uh, maintaining data center, definitely you have the main uh, BMS system or DCM uh, software. So anything you can able to integrate this system into the your uh, BMS system. Why? Because nowadays all are coming with the Modbus protocol RS485. So you can able to integrate this system with, uh, with your uh, main uh, BMS system. Okay. So and secondly, in BMS, in Modbus parameter, like uh, what is the start frequency, what is the end frequency, and what is the current frequency and swipe time, swipe delay and what is the ultrasonic mode, everything you can able to see in, in your BMS system itself. So all the parameter, Modbus parameter you can able to integrate with the help of the OEM. Okay. So and second thing and uh, okay, after you install your system, right, so definitely you have to do the quarterly check whether the transit is properly emitting the ultrasonic sound or not, right, that is the main concern. If it is not working, then it will allow the rodent inside the data center, right. So uh, for the quarterly, uh, for the, for the quarterly uh, maintenance, no, and in, nowadays in all the your main console, there is a small display, the small display, and there is a option for the audio test, like uh, self testing of the transducer. So you have to go in that mode, like self testing of the uh, transducer. While if you are putting self testing of the transducer in that uh, main particular console, what are the uh, transducers connected in that main console? It's all providing the sound which we can able to hear okay uh, so if for example if uh, if i'm connected uh, 10 uh, transducer in the one main console and i'm putting that into the audio test right 
and i have to check, i have to go there like uh, wherever i installed that uh, transducer like in it may be a bow fault setting or below fault setting or the floor void so uh, we have to ch- i have to physically i have to go and i have to listen whether it is emitting the sound or not during that time only the sound the the, the emitting sound uh, the sound coming from the ultra uh, the sound coming from the uh, transducer we can able to hear so apart from that we can't able to hear that sound that is only for the roland tarmat okay so almost uh, i covered all the things and main thing and whenever you are going to select any product you are going to in, uh, install any product and you have to uh, see the coverage range of the uh, your transducer like in some transducers it will cover around uh, 30 square foot uh, feet to or uh, sorry not 30 300 square feet to 600 square feet in some uh, cases it will cover 150 to 300 only so uh, like uh, in in below false flooring and above false ceiling that range will differ so based on the your uh, requirement and based on the product the coverage range of the transducer will get vary so before uh, 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 installing your uh, transducer and main console first of all what, how many what is the coverage range and how much is required be, uh, based on your data center area you have to first you have to conclude it and after that you have to install or otherwise what will happen no you have installed one or two main console with 10 10 transducer 20 transducer and your rodent control it is not control mean control it means that you have uh, chosen the less capacity okay so only how to upgrade that one so it's all you have to calculate based on the uh, coverage range of the transducer right so almost i have covered uh, all the things so uh, uh, in our channel we are uh, uh, regularly we are discussing about the data center uh, related uh, videos like uh, what is the production system and how the data center will work and what are the difference between tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 everything we are keep on posting so if you want to uh, know more about data center and please do subscribe our channel and keep uh, uh, watching our videos so we will get the uh, more knowledge on the data center right so that's all so if you have any uh, concern if you have any doubts or you want to say something so please mention in the comment box uh, we will try to respond to your queries thank you Bye.